two of the most exclusive gated communities in all of Los Angeles and located very close to each other. Hidden Hills and the Oaks in Calabasas are often looked at by celebrities, athletes, business owners looking for more space for their luxury home, so they've chosen the West San Fernando Valley. In this video, I'm going over some of the differences between two of the most prestigious communities in LA. What's going on you guys? My name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent and native Angelino, helping people every single day buy, sell, and invest in property here in Los Angeles. On this channel, I go over all things informational about neighborhoods, cities, and anything you wanna know about LA in general. So leave a comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. It helps out the channel tremendously. But let's go right on to this specific video. First off, Hidden Hills is its own city and it's not part of Calabasas like some may think. It's become wildly popular for being in the hit TV series, Keeping Up With The Kardashians. You guys may have heard of it. The Jenners, the Kardashians, they have blown up Hidden Hills, many notable celebrities have moved and lived there as well. Not specifically because of them, but because of what you can get when living in Hidden Hills if you are someone with a lot of wealth. A lot of A-listers have moved there with their families because of the privacy. It is located right off the 101 freeway and there are three entry gates, making it easier for residents to access. It's unique with its rustic ranch equestrian style feel, so it's not very similar to a lot of the other communities throughout Los Angeles or the San Fernando Valley. Homes in Hidden Hills have several different architectural styles. They don't all look the exact same. They have large lot sizes. You'll see several stables, equestrian arenas, hiking trails. There's also a community center with a pool, a barbecue area, basketball courts, a dining hall, uh, basically just a great place you can have community events at. There are no sidewalks in Hidden Hills. It's just made up of dirt pathways and white picket fences that make it feel a little bit more homey than a lot of the other just standard communities that you'll be seeing around. I'll throw some clips up here of when I did a driving tour. If you haven't seen that video, click the link right above. Just driving around this neighborhood in general will make you see why many wealthy families are moving to the area because you can't really see all of the home from the streets as well. It is super private and you get a great sense of security even though the homes do not have specific private gates to enter the driveway. Growing up, I went to high school about five minutes away from Hidden Hills, but when you're a teenager, you really don't think that where you are living is this well-known prestigious area with a lot of wealthy people, with a lot of celebrities. When I was growing up, I just had friends and their parents, their families that would live in some of these communities. I would spend a good amount of time in Hidden Hills, not knowing that it was Hidden Hills. It was just another neighborhood community that you guys might see when you're living in Nebraska or Texas and there's a neighborhood gated community. You, you would think, oh, it's just Bobby's house next door. But in reality, maybe some of my friends live right next to Drake, right next to where the Kardashians lived, which is pretty cool. But it's nice how you could still get a sense of a homey feel. It didn't seem too extravagant, too over the top even though a lot of these homes are very expensive. I wish I realized what was around me during those teenage years, but when you're in high school, you have many other things to figure out, just what a normal teenager is doing in their day-to-day -day life, just trying to survive high school in general. When going around Hidden Hills, you will see a lot more people riding their horses than walking their dogs. New modern farmhouses and rustic style homes are slowly making their way, new builds, you're seeing a lot of construction being done in Hidden Hills. And the current average home sale price right now is about $9 million. But now let's compare Hidden Hills to the Oaks of Calabasas, both very well-known and prestigious communities. First off, the Oaks isn't as close to the 101 freeway as Hidden Hills is. From the main gate to enter Hidden Hills, you are literally steps away, maybe 100, 200 feet from the gate to the entrance of the 101 freeway. So that's another nice convenience for a lot of the neighbors in Hidden Hills, a lot of the residents, because right as you exit the gate, you don't have to go through any traffic. You just hop on the freeway. Well, then, then maybe you'll be in traffic when you get on the freeway. But you don't have to go through any other neighborhoods besides your own of Hidden Hills. So going on with the Oaks, I had a similar teenage experience that I did with Hidden Hills in the Oaks as well. A lot of my friends, my friends' friends, their families would live in some of these prestigious neighborhoods, the Oaks being one of them. And I would go into this community feeling a little bit more lavish. It seemed a little more luxurious than Hidden Hills will. And I'll touch on that and explain why. And there was also a time where Justin Bieber lived in the community and he was causing havoc during his rebellious days throughout the community of the Oaks. But so the Oaks isn't next to the freeway. As I said, you have to go down Parkway Calabasas, a long street, a very long stretch of 
private driveway space and the landscaping is incredible. Just as you're going toward the gate, you will already feel like you're going into one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles. The landscaping is incredible. You have just the tree-lined street. You'll arrive to this extravagant gate. You will see a water fountain feature. And then when you finally get in the community, it does have some similarities as Hidden Hills, such as a 3.5-acre community center where you can have events. There are basketball courts, tennis courts. There's a pool. There's a dining hall. It's a little bit bigger than the one at Hidden Hills, but you can definitely reserve it or just host block parties there. You'll also see a lot of people jogging around the neighborhood, a little bit more than Hidden Hills. There are some hilly streets in the Oaks, and there are sidewalks. There aren't just the dirt roads, as in Hidden Hills. You won't see as many people, if any, riding their horses in the Oaks. So when you go through the first main entry gate in the Oaks, the closer your home is to the gate, the most likely the smaller your home will be. So these homes will range from about 3,000 to 5,000 square feet in size, which is still pretty big when you're looking at the overall average home scale. And those lots will tend to be about a quarter acre to about 0.35 acres or so. But as you keep getting away from the front gate, the further you drive into the community, the larger the homes get. Then they get to be over 5,000 square feet. The acreage becomes about a half acre, 2.75 acres or so. And then you'll see some homes with backyard views of other communities, of the hills in Calabasas, of the west side looking into Ventura County as well. But then as you keep driving through the Oaks, you will get to the prestigious second gate. Now, if you guys have heard of the second gate of the Oaks, that's when you know you've done something right. If you live in the second gate, first you have to go through a guard, a main entryway guard in the first gate, and then you'll have a clicker or code to enter the second gate, which is where you will see the extravagant homes that can range up over $30 million. That's where Justin Bieber lived. The Kardashians have had houses there. Several well-known athletes that you guys might know and love. Just do a little Google research. Second gate of the Oaks, and I'm sure you'll find a lot of good information. These lot sizes tend to be massive as well. The homes are just extravagant when roaming the streets. So if you guys really like security and really like privacy, you can live through the first guard gated entry into the Oaks, then through the second gate into the Oaks, the prestigious second gate. And then you can have a gate to enter your house driveway as well, and then going through your front door. So a lot of different doors, a lot of security, a lot of gates just to get into your home. But if you're someone who is, let's say, an A-list celebrity, someone well-known that doesn't want paparazzi getting in their way or just looky-loos, then the second gate of the Oaks is probably the place for you. And all of your neighbors, I can assure you, you probably have heard of a lot of them or are very successful individuals. You don't just get to that kind of wealth by just being, well, I guess you could be born into it, but also most of these people have well-known families or are very, very private people. My team and I have been on plenty of showings and done quite a few sales in both Hidden Hills and in the Oaks. If you guys have any questions at all, reach out. My information is down below in the description. My team and I are happy to help at any time. But overall, both of these communities are two of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Los Angeles, and it's on the west side of the San Fernando Valley. You are not too far from everything, Calabasas, and Hidden Hills. Hidden Hills has more of a ranch style, equestrian theme community. So if you're into horses, you're into hiking, you're into not really LA lifestyle because you're living in LA without living in LA in Hidden Hills. It feels much different. But if you're into the lavish life, the luxury life, you want the giant guard gate with the fountain, two gates to get into your house, then the Oaks is probably for you. But both of these communities are vastly different, but they are both incredible in their own ways. Depending on what your goals are, you can't go wrong with making a decision when wanting to live in each of these communities. But if you're still not at that point in your life, which I'm sure most of you guys are not, keep working hard, keep meeting the right people. Your network is your net worth, as they say. Eventually, you'll find yourself in the right opportunities, and then maybe one day you can live in Hidden Hills or the Oaks. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent out here in the greatest city in the world, Los Angeles. My team and I help people buy, sell, and invest in property in LA every day. Reach out to me with any questions whatsoever. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you haven't as well. I post weekly videos of all things Los Angeles. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.